Sounds good. Okay. All right. I was going to do a workout, but I don't have enough time. Uh, well, it's a new product. Um, super excited about it. Um, it's a new G Fuel flavor, as you can tell from the the the, uh, the title title. So, <laughs> super excited about it. But uh, I'm sponsored by Cellicor, all right. But that doesn't mean that I can't uh, try out different companies' products. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna try out the new uh, stinking. G Fuel, G Fuel flavor. Uh, really excited about it. Um, it's gonna be an honest review. This isn't gonna be some uh, high tail, uh, kissy kissy, whatever the flip, flip flop you wanna call it. Um, this isn't gonna be some uh, washy wish wash review. This is gonna be some hardcore logistics going into this this one right here. Um, but without further ado, let's just let's jump into this thing. So grab a handy dandy knife. I really, I really need to knife. It gets the job done though, it does, you know. Sometimes good things come in small packages. All right, first thing off the bat, we got the receipt, don't need that. Uh, ooh, we got a really cool sticker, that's awesome. Yeah, we got that sweet looking sticker. I approve of this one. Uh, some of their stickers in the past have been like, ah, oh, you know, they're all right, they're not too bad. This one's, uh, this one's nice, I like that. Uh, next thing we got is, of course, you know, all their ads, thank you for your order, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Work with, don't need that. Just different little things in there, it's kind of fun. Uh, we don't need that either. All right, so the main thing, slide this over. We have the flavor itself. Bada bing, bada bang, all right, there it is. Pretty stoked about it, we got cherry. Can you see that mother truck? Cherry limeade, so. Got that sucker right there. And we also did get a shaker cup with it, one of the phase ones. So that's, you know, it's a plus. It's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna open this, open this thing up somehow. How do these things? Ah! All right, so here we are. We got the shaker cup. Well, we almost have the shaker cup. Man, they put a lot of stuff into these now. There used to only be like a certain amount of wrapping. Now they just go all out. Ugh! Okay, cool. Hulk strength, we got it. Oh my gosh, is this thing gonna... Okay, there we go. We got that, got that. So, we got that today. Now, we're gonna try this thing out and I'm gonna give my honest review, okay? I'm not one to wishy-wash it like I said. Um, and I'm really excited. Obviously, a lot of people know what's gonna happen in this video before they even click on it because these are so widespread. Um, but I do like to do these from time to time because it's really fun. It's just good to try new flavors and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna um, maybe cue some cinematics or some something to make it fun. I don't know, I mean, whatever people like nowadays. Uh, and we're gonna clean this thing out. Listen, clean these out first, okay, because they haven't been cleaned. I, I'm pretty sure they haven't been cleaned. They just came right out the factory from flipping, where are these made? China, made in, made in China. Can you see that, by the way? Oh, you just look right in there. Can you? See you made by, made in China. Probably not. Uh, point is, so we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go clean these out. I'm gonna take off the wrapping of this, probably do some shots or something. Anyways, I'll be back, okay? I'll be back.
So here we are. We got our uh, sugar cup. We got some ice in it. Listen, you gotta have ice. Pro tip: uh, if you don't have ice in your shaker, kind of missing out. Mm. Voila. All right, so it's been a little while since I've had a new G Fuel flavor, to be honest with you. All right, let's put it in there. All right, cool. So it's in there, it's got all the ice and everything. So we're just gonna cap back on this. Uh, let's pour this sucker in and let's just uh, see what kind of comes of it. That is perfect. Oh. All right, now it's perfect. So we have our. Uh, <laughs> so now we have our bottle. We got it all ready to go. Get that sucker on nice and tight. Let's shake this sucker up. Here we go. This is always the moment that everyone is just waiting for. It. No, just Interesting. Interesting. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Come give this a taste. Let me know what you think. This is the uh, what you call it? The, the cherry lime. Cherry lime eight. Oh, I like lime. Yeah. So you mix those two flavors. It's probably gonna be one of my faves. What do you think? Ooh, that's good. Is it? Yeah. Not too sweet. It's got a little bit of a kick. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Does the job. You like it? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. it'd be good for summertime. This is probably one of my faves. All right, so after giving it a chance to really sink in and really just enjoy that flavor, uh, I definitely have noticed this is not my personal favorite. Now, before everyone starts freaking out in the comments or whatever and says, oh, this is the best flavor ever, you're crazy, uh, this is the reason why. This flavor is definitely a lot more um, tart than it is sweet. Uh, it definitely has a kick of that sweetness still in there. G Fuel still does a great job delivering both the cherry and the lime. Um, I think that they both uh, really complement each other quite nicely. Although, this is definitely not a flavor if you are a sweet tooth like myself. I am a horrible sweet tooth. Uh, I love a lot of sweet things. Now, obviously, there's a certain level where it goes too far. Um, I did notice that with Tropical Rain, it was a little bit too sweet for me, even for myself. For summertime, I think this is gonna be a great flavor. I think Sensor, you really um, did a great job having this be your flavor. Uh, I think this will suit you and will suit summertime quite nicely. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. So overall, if you're not a huge sweet tooth, this is the one for you. If you like cherries, if you like limes, if you like cherry limeade, if you like just an explosion of the two, this is for you. Uh, if you're a huge sweet tooth, might not be for you. Um, it's a little bit more tart, like I said, uh, and it's not as sweet. It's very subtle. It's a very subtle taste to it. So if you're more of that huge sweet tooth person, kind of like myself, then I recommend more of a maybe phase berry or um, if you're a huge sweet tooth, tropical rain. Now, in saying all that stuff, this is definitely not a bad flavor. G Fuel has definitely done a good job at coming out with a variety of flavors, um, this one being included, and I think that it's still gonna be a great flavor to try out and to drink during the summertime. So, when it comes to my personal rating for Cherry Limeade, uh, I'd give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. Uh, like I said, if you like more of a tart and a more of a subtle flavor, that's totally for you. Uh, for me personally, I'm more of a sweet too, so didn't really do it as much uh, on the sweetness level. Anyways guys, I hope you guys all really enjoyed this video. If you guys did, you know, do definitely drop a like, comment, already subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure to follow my social media down below. But yeah guys, basically gonna do it for the video today. Hope you guys all really enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to smack that like button. Also feel free to subscribe, rate, comment, all that good stuff. Make sure to check out all my social media down below and uh, check out Illuminate the team I'm leading. Also feel free to check out Cellicore. Use code Alzi for 20% off all purchases at Cellicore Gamer. So it's been your boy Alzi and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.